Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a workaround for a problem which just has arisen on my YWAB315 router and that is the problem of the DDNS not updating. For example, the purpose of the DDNS is to provide uh, users or yourself a remote login from the WAN, the internet, onto your local network and in order to do that, you need to have the IP address. The problem is, is the public IP address that you're using on your router changes. Might change daily, might change weekly. The point is it changes and we, you don't really have a way of knowing this change because it's sometimes random. It's up to the ISP. So that is the purpose of the DDNS service on the internet. Maybe it's no IP or dynamic DNS. So these people offer a resolution to this problem by you choosing a domain name and they translate that into an IP address by obtaining the IP address of your router constantly every five minutes or so. So let's just go through this. In order to do this example, I've created a domain name. The domain name is YouTube example 19th of August DDNS and my username is YouTube19. So I've created an account on noip.com with a username and a specific password just for explanation purposes. And the reason why I'm using noip.com is many routers have, I wouldn't call it a partnership, but they, they have a built-in setup where you can use the popular DDNS services on the internet. And the Huawei is offering noip or dynamic DNS. If you're using a D-Link, it's got a partnership with dynamic DNS where it actually offers you a free DDNS service, whereas the Huawei doesn't offer it, and why I'm off, uh, using the no IP is because it's free, and they give you the 30, 30 days and you have to keep renewing it. Okay, so this is what happens. I created the noip.com DDNS service, and I, I've created a domain name just for explanation purposes, and what transpired is that the router stopped providing the advertisement of my IP address, which means that noip.com is no longer getting the status of the IP address change. So this is how you solve that problem. Right, so on dynamic, uh, on noip.com, I'm now on noip.com. Obviously, you would have to set up a username and password and so forth. I've already done this. And here is the Example, YouTube example 19th of August dot DDNS dot net. And here is the IP address 197228236.50. Now that's all fine, worked. I tried to log in, no problem. Now a few days later, I noticed this problem. You can see there's the IP address which worked initially, excuse me, which worked initially. But actually, if I backspace it, you can see. The correct IP address should now be 102.250.168.34. What this means is the IP address which noip.com has stored for the domain name YouTube example 19th of August.ddns.net is incorrect. Why did that happen? Because the router is not providing the update to noip.com server. Remember, noip, all they're really doing is a pointing service and when you look for YouTube example 19 August or DDNS, no IP will point you to the correct IP address. But if they do not have the correct IP address, it's not going to work. So I contacted noip.com and they said, no, they have some software that allows you to work around this problem. So you need to download their software and I'll, expl I'll set it up and I'll show you what it does. But just to recap, the reason for this video is that the IP address there, 197.228.236.50, was the IP address which was initially on my router. Obviously, uh, the router re uh, re um, got restarted and a few days have passed, and then it actually got the IP address changed. Now, what that means is that noip.com should get a status update saying, uh, hello, my, your, my uh, IP address has changed, but they didn't. So they are sitting with the wrong IP address. Therefore, when I do a quick update, it's picking up my IP address as 102.250.186.34. So this is a workaround until maybe Huawei or whoever your service provider is, your router manufacturer, fix this. And I noticed this occurred straight after a 
software update on the router. So I, I still need the the uh, DDNS service to work. I can't wait for software update. So I'm now going to use noip.com's software, which has to be installed on a local PC in order to work around this issue. Now I'll show you how to deal with a problem using noip.com software. Right, I've downloaded noip.com's software. I'll show you where you download it. Right, so on noip.com's website, you go to download and then you look for something which is called Dynamic DNS Update Client for Windows. I think they've got for other platforms as well. But anyway, so I, you download it. I've already downloaded it to so not waste any time. There it is. You install it. Now, the key is it has to be installed on a PC that is on all the time. For example, I have a NAS which is running 24 hours a day. So therefore, I am now installing it on this computer. And what this is, the software is going to do is it's going to allow this little service to run in the background on this computer, which is always on, on your network, you'll have to set it, put your username and password. And as I told you, I use YouTube, whatever, and your password, you'll sign in. And what it'll do is every five or so minutes, it will send an update to noip.com, just uh, telling them what your current IP address is. So it's kind of bypassing the router status update, to, which is not working. So this is the workaround. Right, once the software uh, you log in, then it will allow you to manage your host because now it's logged in, it's picked up that I have a host called YouTube Example 19th of August. And then what it says here is please select the host of groups to be associated with this client. You can click to manage your hosts and groups within your account to on the noip.com website. So that's it. So what I'll now do is I'll set the YouTube Example 19th of August DDNS uh, host name to be on, I'll save it. It asks you if you can, uh, if you want to have a password. Now, nobody can log into this computer on the network, on my network, so it's a private computer. I'm not worried about passwords. And then I'll just say save. And then what will happen is this service, the DUC, uh, now IP's DUC version, whatever, 4.11, will then run in the background. And every five or so minutes, it will send an update to noip.com, which will then update the IP address when the ISP, Internet Service Provider, keeps changing it on my router because the router was not providing that service. Something's gone wrong and that's how I am working around that problem. So to sum up, if you're having a problem where your DDNS is no longer getting the latest IP address from your router then, and you are using no IP, then this is how you resolve that problem. All right. Thanks for watching.